In this video, I'll show you how to correctly set up and program your Clack WS1 TC automatic backwashing filter for your family. If you're looking for step-by-step -step programming instructions for your Clack three button automatic backwashing water filter, this video is for you. This valve is also known as the Clack TCEI or CI valve since it can't be set up to regenerate on demand, only by time. Whether you have a backwashing carbon filter for removing chemicals like chlorine or chloramines from your water, a calcite filter for neutralizing the pH, or a sediment filter for removing the dirt, you'll need to make sure that it's programmed correctly. By the end of this video, you'll know what settings are correct and how to change them on your Clack WS1 TC3 button valve, like this one. Also, I highly suggest you watch this video right to the end because I've got a great preventative maintenance tip which could save you and your family money. By the way, if you're not 100% sure how an automatic backwashing filter works, I definitely suggest that you check out this video. I'll add a link in the description below. For any type of backwashable filter, really any application other than for a water softener or tannin filter, with this valve, you would use P7 to P9 for your cycle times. These are just backwash and rinse cycles. P7 uses the least amount of water Water, while P9 does the most thorough backwash and rinse, but ultimately does use the most amount of water. Generally, unless water usage is a major concern, we suggest using P9 and setting the valve to automatically regenerate every five days. From the service mode, press the set hour and the up button simultaneously for three seconds and then release, like this. You'll need to do this twice. Choose the desired program by pressing the up and down buttons. Prior to selecting the program, verify that the application is for a backwashable filter and not a water softener. Again, the settings will be P7 to P9. Press the set hour. Use the up or down buttons to switch between the one through 99 days of regeneration or the seven day, like this. If you want it to regenerate every so many days, pick one through 99. If you want it to go on certain days of the week, choose the seven day and then press the set hour button. Press the button one more time. At this point, you can choose whether you want to go on a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock. So that's your choice. Since we chose the one to 99 day option, we're now going to go in and pick the exact regeneration time and frequency. From the normal mode, press the set hour plus up button simultaneously for three seconds and then release like this. The regeneration time. Set the clock to the hour the regeneration should occur by using the up and down buttons. Typically this set for a time it's very little water is used in the home and also when there isn't another piece of filtration equipment regenerating at the same time. The default is typically 2 a.m. like we have set here. Next, set the number of days between the regenerations. The allowable range is 1 to 99. I suggest you start at every four days. You can always go back and adjust it later if needed. Press the set hour to exit the installer displays and settings. If you chose the seven day option, you can see on the screen right now the days that correlate to each display setting. From the service mode, press the set hour plus up button simultaneously for three seconds and release like this. Set the clock to the hour the regeneration should occur by using the up and down buttons. Typically this is set for a time when very little water is used in the home and also when there isn't another piece of water filtration equipment regenerating at the same time. Default is typically 2 a.m. An arrow points to p.m. after 12. Press the set hour. Set the current day of the week by using the up and down buttons. See the chart to know which day correlates to each day on the display. To regenerate on a Sunday, use the up and down buttons until the arrow points to the regen. If the arrow doesn't point to the regen, a regeneration will not occur on that Sunday. We have it set so that it will regenerate on the Sunday, which is day one. Continue through all the days of the week until you've selected the regeneration days. Press the set hour to exit the installer displays and settings.
Note, if all the arrows are turned off in the D1 through D7 settings, the user display will always read 7 and a regeneration will never occur. By the way, if you're looking for replacement parts for your Clack water filtration system, go to our websites, wateristore.com in the US and wateristore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Now I'm going to show you how to change the time of day. Access by pressing the set hour for three seconds, like this. Adjust to the nearest hour using the up and down buttons. An arrow will point to the PM during the PM hours and it'll go away during the AM hours. Once you have your time set, just hit the set button again to return to the home screen. To initiate a manual regeneration immediately, simultaneously press the up and down buttons together for three seconds. The system will begin to regenerate immediately and the request cannot be canceled. Although you can't cancel manual regeneration, you can fast forward through the steps by pressing the down button like this. Pro tip, we always suggest that you plug all your water filtration equipment into a surge suppressor like this one. That way, if you have volted fluctuations from your electrical supply, the surge suppressor will prevent damage to your circuit board. Click here for your next video on water filtration equipment maintenance, and we'll see you there.